What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Hunter X here, bringing us another episode of EMC Skybreaker. With that being said, let's get into today's episode as we're going to be diving deeper into mechanism. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys. So, in today's episode, I want to make a few things. I want to make some speed upgrades, I want to make some energy upgrades. I also want to see if I can craft the next tier circuits if i can so the ultimate control circuit the elite control circuit and the advanced control circuit which is gonna need pretty much the alloys pretty much for the most part i think it's not really that difficult i don't think yeah it shouldn't be too difficult but what isn't be too difficult is i mean i guess what we could do oh uh, yeah okay so let's do what we're gonna do here we are going to i guess we could also just set it up in the system to do it with the system because you know technically it's really easy so we can just kind of like craft it on demand kind of thing which is completely fine i think we're going to do that instead it is way more easier to do it that way i think um i, I really don't like crafting on demand you know what wait a second no i shouldn't have that mod installed I was about to say, I was like, I should have that mod installed. Um, I had to move my Curse Forge uh installation folder. So yeah, that's that's a that's a thing. Um but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do some auto crafting here. Now I'm trying to debate whether if I want to do I guess wait, how hard I guess the installers too would be nice to have on demand as well but i think right now we're just like i mean i guess we're trying to back up on materials and things so like i'm gonna have to teach you how to do like like you know like like store gold and store diamonds and store all these things because well i mean quite frank we don't really have them i don't even know if we're even allowed to use the ultimate tier installer either i should have yeah right here if I teach you what like what are some of the things I need? I need iron, osmium, gold, and diamonds. Okay, so iron, iron ingots. Okay, iron ingots. Uh, osmium ingots, gold, and diamonds. I think was the final one now unfortunately all I have to do is shift click these in and that should be fine now I should be able to be like hey like make me I don't know uh installer hmm. weird that it's not showing up installer uh sorted items Sort by name. Ah, there we go. Weird. That was off. Okay, we should be able to do this now. Make, okay, make me five of these. Except I don't think I have enough material. <laughs> that might be an issue. Also, it, why is this taking a minute to calculate? It might be saying, like, freaking out because I don't think I have the system taught wood. I don't think. So it might be like, uh, no, you can't do that right now because. You don't have the resources for that. You have no idea how long I've been sitting here waiting. 5,000 milliseconds? What the f did I do? What did I do? Huh? 5,000 milliseconds? Jesus. What? 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 Huh? I'm scared. I'm actually a little scared. I'm a little squared. Um, uh, um, okay. Let's see if, if I do it again. Is the game going to break this time? 5,000 milliseconds. I'm just, I'm going to leave it on this screen. I'm not going to touch it. Because last time I touched it, we ended up getting a 6,000 millisecond timer now would you say that's a craft and a half or what 
Oh my god. What is that? Hundred thousand million billion that's a trillion bytes. Um yeah, that's <clears throat> Um, I don't think that's happening, but why won't it craft the installers? That's so weird. I want to try something. This is crazy. I know. Uh, game. Oh, is it you? Are you being a nuisance? Wait, what's being a nuisance here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna boop you for a second off there I'm, I was doing some reading and apparently there's like an issue with storage buses being a bit problematic let's find out that worked if I want to craft five of them or five of these it is the storage bus on the a on the Compressed EMC link. It does not like that apparently. Um. Right. Um, how can we fix that? I guarantee if I put that back. I put this back. It's not going to craft. Wanna, who wants to make a bet that it's not going to craft? What did I say? Okay. Hmm. How are we going to solve this issue? Huh. All right, guys, so I don't know what we're going to do about this. So I'm thinking, oh God, that's going to be so expensive. Hmm. I was thinking we just set up like a, like a drawer system, <clears throat> right? We just have like a, a wall of drawers or something like back here that we just like literally just like import like hundreds if not thousands actually i kind of want to maximize this a little bit uh let me grab some more of these laboratory blocks laboratory i'm gonna expand this a little bit and we'll be right back now with our base extended i'm gonna go ahead and set up a nice little drawer system Oops, that's not that. Because what we're going to do is we're going to set up a drawer system. That's going to be super compatible with our base, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to move it more. <clears throat> Eleven, twelve. Four. 12 perfect and now we gotta bring this 13 high okay look at this beauty holy cow that is a massive drawer wall we're gonna go ahead and lock all those babies yup and I guess what we're going to do is we're going to basically take all of our material one by one and fill our drawer system with our materials. So our philosopher stones, actually, I don't know about our philosopher stones. That one's a little silly. Dark matter, red matter, turning us fuel, uh, obsidian, high covalence dust, medium covalence dust, um, eternalist fuel, 
glass, glowstone, uh, glowstone. Is there anything else that I grabbed from there that I might have missed? And then <clears throat> cobblestone, iron, gold, osmium, diamond, and wood are going to be our next set of things put in these drawers this is so silly that i have to do it this way but hey if it gets the job done it gets the job done right and then i should be able to i'll come back here and basically do the most sketchiest thing ever grab a stack of emc links right and just Put it back here. Just line them up. All right. This is this is not the way I wanted to do this, but I guess this is the way that we have to do it, right? Okay. Oh, I went too far. I went way too far. Oops. All right there you go. Okay. We automated this in a way and we didn't even barely touch our EMC by the way, huh? Gold ingots why you no work diamonds why you no work iron why you no work Huh? Excuse me Iron. Oh, you know what? I probably didn't go all the way Oops Also what oh I see what happened. Right. I made a little bit of an oopy. But that's okay. That's okay. Voting it's still not going in. Why? Why you must do this to me? Honestly? At this point? Yeah, I think I'm just going to do the, la the lazy man's job and connect it in a super bad way and also blame myself later when it's broken and I can't use it because, you know, I, I didn't connect it right. It, it's future me problems, right? That's the, that's, you know, that's the excuse. It's future me problem. Mm-hmm. That sounds like a plan to me. There you go. They should all be connected now. And getting filled. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. And it's it's not gonna be fast. It might be, I don't know. But we're also gonna go ahead and uh get on under here and and do the little special treatment, you know, with the storage bus, and hopefully I am praying to God that this works. Because, um, yeah, the, we don't have the other AE mod, the one that is in Project Ozone that allows you to connect your player to the ME system instead of the actual block. Yeah, unfortunately, that mod is not in here. So, yeah. And I also need to find a cable that we want to connect to for this because, I mean, I guess we could run some... I don't know, like weird connector or something. Uh, there should be actually a cable close by enough. There's one right here. Uh, I don't know what that's connected to actually. That's connected to this dense cable, which is connected to this guy, which is already running 10 channels. 10 mother flipping channels. Jesus Christ. Holy cow. That's a lot of channels. All right, you're going to be a priority at 11,000 or something. Now, here's the thing. Nothing should go in here because all the drawers are locked, right? So if it can't fit in here, it will most likely go in here, essentially, kind of thing, right? So I can now get rid of this because it's not needed anymore because it don't work. So we can go ahead and just boop. Damn, I was really hoping that would work. But, um, yeah, apparently it causes too much lag. So if I go ahead and request for installers to be made, 
It shouldn't take five million years. Oh my god. That was actually the solution to the problem. Okay, do noted compressed EMC links cannot be storage bust. Good to know. And oh my god, look at how many like circuits we have. It's actually insane. I'm actually thinking about putting an emerald upgrade in like each, right? I mean, that's a stretch, right? I think that's a lot of like emeralds, like a lot of upgrades. I mean, a lot of, of these, these basic components and things. I, I don't know if I want to do it for these. Cause like maybe, Hmm. We, we do have the factory, right? Oh, we don't. That's right. Yeah, yeah, we want at least like 10 of each installer. Cause I'm pretty sure in this, in this, I don't know if it's, if it's in this version of mechanism or if it's the next version of mechanism that allows you to do the installers on the metallurgic confusers. Oh, dude, if, the, if this is the version, uh, we're missing osmium. How are we missing osmium? Oh, is it, is it not ordict? Are you not ordicking? You silly. I think it's not ordicking. Yeah, it's probably not ordic. Yeah. Yep, I'm silly. Cause this one has no wait. Wait, no. Huh? Wait, what? No, osmium. What requires osmium? Hold on. One of these requires osmium. Uh, advanced control circuits, enrich alloy. Wait, why is it complaining about? Mm, oh, it's the advanced one. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. I thought that was the bait, the basic tier. I am blind. That YouTuber blind is kicking in. Would you look at that? I don't know why. Why is it that it doesn't ordict by default? That's so strange. All right, let me grab 10 of you, please. Thank you. All right, installer. Okay. So five. Nope. We want. Oh no. That's very annoying. Oh God. It's that version of the game, the pack or the, the, the mod. Okay. Oh, and also when you upgrade it, it auto turns off split mode. That's kind of annoying. Okay, fair enough. And then I think, yeah, we're gonna wanna upgrade those as well. Um, is there a cable over here? There should be. Let me run a cable real quick. Uh, mm, I don't wanna waste a channel though. That's, that's, that's kind of like, that's kind of based. You don't wanna be wasting channels, right? All right, installer. Get me a couple more so that way we can you know upgrade okay i'm gonna i'm gonna upgrade these machines and we'll be right back here's the current question will we be able to use ultimate tier upgrades in this in this pack or in not upgrades sorry installers okay i guess today's episode has been literally an episode of debugging because like bruh that's so un that's so unsatisfying man I am so not happy right now. Oh God. It is actually insane how unhappy I am right now. All right. Um, the answer to that is a negative. <laughs> you can't use ultimate upgrade. Why? Why make them craftable? Why can't you make, th why, why make them craftable if you can't use them? That's, that makes me sad, man. Okay. It seems like, wait, what? Okay, no, they're, they're elite. Okay, I, I was confused there. Okay, so now I feel like I can definitely upgrade these a little to, you know, be a little better. Oh my God, they're, they're cooking. They're cooking even without the upgrades, by the way. Anyways, I digress. We're gonna go make, we're gonna go make some, oh my God, how many sacks can we hold? 1,024. Oh, actually that might've been a mistake. As long as each one is net profiting and we're not like going down on it, I think it should be fine. 
but we actually might go down on it actually now that i think about it because some of these i think the speed upgrades and stuff require the upgrade uh, the things we might just make a separate system for it altogether because yeah they need enriched they need the enriched alloy i mean to, to be fair i mean i guess we could just you know throw down another enrich another enrichment fat wait why is this struggling that's why <laughs> there's no speed upgrades in that thing okay that's why it's super slow all right are any of them other ones struggling uh all right yeah now we're flying and i think you're also slow yeah we might be at a net loss here yeah for sure on a net loss but I, it should eventually slow down and be net positive again yeah well is it what it seems like i can't tell if that's going up or down it seems like it's it's hovering yeah it's definitely hovering which is fine by the way how many stacks can i hold it's 1024 oh god uh let's see 1024 times 64 65,000 um i may have made a mistake it's fine don't mind don't pay attention to it okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna pick an ender chest up and we're just gonna keep i guess a stack of enriched alloys for the crafting of our upgrades which is that that should be fine right a stack uh ender chest uh ender chest uh times two and then let's just choose like a like, random color like red red or red white red sure that should that should be plenty red white red and then we're gonna go ahead and tell you that we want a stack upgrade i don't know we want a limited item filter and you're extracting on the red channel so that means you're gonna go ahead and insert on the red channel uh a stack of these bad boys and only these bad boys so it, it should keep this in stock at all times essentially which is nice okay so that's step one uh, step two is automating osmium. <laughs> uh, okay. Or pulverizing osmium. Let me go grab a quick. I think I'm going to need at least two of these. Because we're going to want two pulverizers. And then I'm going to want to figure out what I actually want to use to craft this thing. Do we want to use crafters? Or from like Ender.io? Or like crafting from. I probably don't want to use the crafter from RF tools because that requires you to like program it. So I'm thinking, oh, well, this is kind of a pain in the backside to make as well. Do we have octatic octatics? Uh, we do have octatics, so I guess, you know, it's fine. We can we can make that real fast. Unless if it's like a real pain in the butt which it might be because i don't even have the the dye blend for it yeah hmm this might be one of those things where i just say program it in the programmer and just call it a day because yeah that's um we can easily program this it's not that hard i just need to find a place where i can put it where we can get power to it and stuff oh do i have cryethium pl plates with me i don't have cryethium thingies oh wait no i i had to have them on me yeah they're right here <laughs> okay and then i'm so sad that i didn't get nothing done in this episode it's literally just been like an entire episode of just debugging stuff i 
uh, I, I kind of need two channels here, I think. Right? Because we're going to want... Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to want two channels here, I think. Yeah. We don't want two channels, I think. I mean, it's not like that we can't get two channels over here. It's, it's not that difficult. Interface. Now, is this going to be buggy as well? Oh, uh, there is a channel. But it's like right here. It's also not in the best spot either. I'm going to push this Enderium cable back. By one. Uh, docked. Let's see, where is this one? The fuck, duck. The duck. And I should be able to, uh, here. Maybe use ME conduit. Please tell me we have ME conduit. Okay. I was about to be like, oh, I'm hoping, I'm banking on the idea that we have ME conduits. Oh, stressful thing is, I don't know where this goes and I don't care. <laughs> I'm just going to connect it. Oh God. Probably not a bad idea, a good idea, but you know what? I'm a little, I'm a little peeved. Definitely a little peeved about having to debug for like an entire episode, but it's fine. Okay. I was gonna do this whole like crazy setup. Nah. It is way too uh yeah. And hopefully we can just like craft whatever we need. Which should be really simple. Uh speed upgrades. What are we missing? Oh, that's gonna be an issue. I'll have to deal with that later. Uh it's eight per, so I have five machines like 10 so i need like 80. it's not even done yet i gotta still make the 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 pulverized freaking uh um osmium dust osmium ore osmium dust i was about to say um um, you better work. Uh, we need the one for Mechie. The one for Mechie needs them. And then pulverized gold should be really simple. I'm just gonna get the right one. Gotta get the right one. Imagine you can't get pulverized gold from the pulverizer. How funny would that be? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter which ones these go into, right? We can just one in there one in there also don't do that but sure get two of those upgrades and we should be able to do some augments now and hopefully this will just push to the top right push and pull or whatever i'm really banking on this working because if not i don't know what the hell i'm gonna do <clears throat> That's not going to be good. It, it's not working because the, I'm an idiot. Because I, I forgot to encode it to be, wait, no. Hold on. Oh God. Oh God. Can I like scroll wheel this? No. Hold on. I gotta like do this. I gotta like encode the pattern. Cause there apparently there's no or dictionary for processing. That's weird. All right, speed upgrades. Let's see how fast you are at crafting. All right, I need 80 of them pronto. Go. All right, you're working, right? Oh, don't even play with me right now. Oh, there's no power. How is there no power? 
I didn't, didn't hook it up. That's how there's no power. Connor, get your brain together. What is happening? Okay. That is not as fast as I thought it would be. Honestly, we might be better just using the freaking the mechanism crusher thing. Dang, that's slow. Holy bejeebus. But it is working, which is nice. So now I should be able to be like, hey, I also want energy upgrades with that. Can I please get some energy upgrades? And I think it's 80. I want to say it's 80. No, yeah, blah, blah. one, two, three, four. That's eight times four is 24. Uh, and then there's another five machines. So there's five, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's 90 ish, but that should be fine. Okay. Well, unfortunately, guys, we had to spend like 50,000 years debugging today's episode, but we did build that big jank storage system right behind me. So that, that's nice, right? Anyways, I digress. With that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's episode of EMC Sky Maker, please do me a huge favor. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ding down that notification bell, become part of the Hunter Stripe House. Eh, help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. As always, guys, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. Till next time.